So you're working on a new invention. When's the right time to file a patent application? Well, I get this question all the time, and the answer is probably not what you think. Hi, my name is John Farrell. I'm a Silicon Valley patent attorney. Welcome back to my channel. It's a race to the patent office in every single country of the world. So whoever gets to the patent office first gets the patent. So when it comes to filing your patent application, sooner is better. But it's also possible to file your application too soon. My general belief is that the best time to file your patent application is not when you first think of the invention, but after you've had a chance to flesh the invention out a little bit. Maybe write a summary of the invention or sketch some figures or make a diary entry. Some people like to build a prototype first and maybe this would be helpful just to make sure that the invention works. Now it's not necessary to build a working prototype before submitting your patent application application, except possibly when it comes to perpetual motion machines. I think the patent office may still require a working model for perpetual motion machines. But otherwise, no model, no working prototype is actually required before submitting your application. Some inventors like to build prototypes. They actually invent while they build. So if this is you, go ahead and finish your prototype to get all the details of the invention figured out if that makes you feel more comfortable. We want to make sure that your invention actually works before getting your application on file. And certainly the patent office doesn't want to clutter their shelves with inventions that don't work. Since we have a system in the United States and throughout the world where it's a race to the patent office to get your patent application on file first, of course there is this tension between getting your application on file quickly and getting your application complete. It's important not to wait too long before getting your application on file because there could be another inventor out there competing with you, racing to get their patent application completed. Now there are some circumstances where getting your patent application on file early, even when you're not quite ready, might make some sense. Examples of this, for instance, might be if you're meeting with a developer or a prototype builder or someone who's gonna help you market your invention or maybe help you finance your company. In these cases, you're going to need to explain your invention, explain your technology in some, in some detail. And so you're gonna to wanna to share your invention and getting your application on file quickly before these meetings can often be very valuable. And don't forget about provisional patent applications if this is the case. If you need to get your application on quickly, filing an inexpensive, easy to prepare, provisional patent application might be the best path for you. Provisional patent applications are very informal and they can be prepared often quickly, but you still need to have the detail of the invention in your application. There needs to be sufficient detail in your provisional patent application so that the reader of your application can build and practice your invention. Now, if you do end up filing a regular application early and you don't have quite all the details, it's very possible to file a continuation in part application later where you augment or add or correct details of your, in, of your original patent application. So all's not lost. If you do have to get your application turned in early, but still have later improvements, developments, corrections, it's possible to file a continuation in part application after that first application gets submitted. Okay, that's all I have on when to file. If you found this video helpful, I think you'll find this next video helpful as well. I'll see you over there.